U.S. President Joe Biden on Tuesday returned to the royal castle in Warsaw, Poland, where he had delivered a speech last year, a month after Russia invaded Ukraine. In his latest speech, he defended the Western alliance's effort to help Kyiv defend itself. One year ago, the world was bracing for the fall of Kyiv. Well, I just come from a visit to Kyiv, and I can report Kyiv stands strong. Kyiv stands proud. It stands tall. And most important, it stands free. On the same day, Russian President Vladimir Putin spoke to an assembly of Russian lawmakers, saying the U.S. and NATO wants to inflict a strategic defeat on his country. He suspended participation in the New START Treaty, a landmark nuclear arms control pact, and threatened to resume nuclear tests. In early February of this year, the North Atlantic Alliance made a statement with a de facto demand on Russia, as they say, to return to the implementation of the Strategic Offensive Arms Treaty, including the admission of inspections to our nuclear defense facilities. Well, I don't even know what to call it. What a theater of the absurd. Speaking directly to Russian citizens, Biden stressed that the West is not the enemy. The West was not plotting to attack Russia as Putin said today. And millions of Russian citizens who only want to live in peace with their neighbors are not the enemy. This war is never a necessity. It's a tragedy. Biden reiterated what Vice President Kamala Harris announced days earlier at the Munich Security Conference, that the U.S. has determined Moscow has committed crimes against humanity against the Ukrainian people. Earlier Tuesday, Biden met with President Andrei Duda, thanking him for Poland's support for Ukraine and assuring the NATO partner that Washington will respond if Russia launches an attack on Poland. Poland has welcomed more than 1.5 million Ukrainian refugees and provided billions of dollars in weapons and humanitarian assistance. The White House denied Moscow's claim that Biden received security guarantees from Russia before his surprise visit to Kyiv to meet with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Monday. Zelensky said the conversation brought joint victory. We can and we must do so that 2023 becomes the year of victory. Before returning to Washington on Wednesday, Biden will meet with NATO leaders from the so-called Bucharest 9, the countries on NATO's easternmost flank. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News, Warsaw.